Hi, today I will introduce Delta HMI recipe function. Delta HMI provides three types of recipe. First is a 16-bit recipe, second would be 32. The final one is enhanced recipe. You can see a different type of recipe will have the different uh, data size. And you can set this uh, recipe inside HMI or uh, USB or uh, SD card. If a uh, 16-bit recipe is set inside HMI memory, that would be a 64K. And if you set into a USB or SD card, that would be a 4096K. However, for a uh, 32-bit and uh, enhanced type uh, recipe, if you set inside the HMI, this will vary uh, based on uh, HMI model. And the maximum uh, for 32-bit uh, recipe set in to uh, USB or SD card will be uh, 15 megabytes. Uh, here you can see uh, clearly that uh, different type of recipe will support different type of uh, uh, data, uh, data type of value. 16-bit uh, support unsigned decimal. Um, 32-bit will support uh, sign and unsigned decimal, also uh, floating. Enhanced type of uh, recipe will support uh, BCD, sign unsigned decimal, floating, and characters. You can also say string. Here you can see a uh, 16-bit recipe. We can define in a uh, length. Uh, length means how many columns for the recipe, and group means how many rows for the how many rows for the recipe. Okay, so for this example, we define three rows for column. And you can see a uh, recipe number. Recipe number, if we put one, then it will show uh, from one to four. And if we change this value to two, you will see the, the value of five to eight. Uh, you may wonder uh, what is the recipe buffer and why this will occupy a uh, recipe uh, zero to recipe three. Okay, recipe buffer basically will according to the uh, recipe length you define over here. Uh, because today's example we use four, so that means it will occupy uh, four consecutive uh, uh, register. And if you uh, change this one to five, so you will see the buffer will become a uh, zero to four. And the starting address here will become five. Okay, let's back to uh, today's example because uh, here we use a four, so you will have a four uh, recipe for buffer. And from the real value recipe, you will start from a uh, recipe four, five. So you can see uh, recipe ten, you will show seven, and recipe eleven will be uh, eight. For recipe application, some customer they prefer uh, to set the recipe from uh, inside HMI, then uh, write to POC. But some customer they prefer to get the recipe from POC and update to HMI. So how to achieve that? Uh, we can use the control block, control block, and you can see here we have the recipe control. For the recipe control bit one, that means uh, read recipe. Read recipe means we get the data from a POC update to HMI. And write recipe, that means uh, it will write the HMI recipe to a POC. So you can see I put a uh, bit one uh, is read from POC to HMI, but write uh, bit two, that means uh, write the recipe from HMI to POC. So let me show you the example. Okay. First of all, uh, let's go to the communication setting. For communication setting, uh, today we will just use the simulator function. Okay, so.
So here we select edge uh, POC, but actually we will not uh, connect to any POC. We just use the simulator function. Uh, next, I will show you the uh, configuration as I show in the uh, here we will use a recipe control and we assign to uh, B100 so you can see a uh, big one is read, read the recipe a uh, bit two is write recipe okay then let me show you the address so here we will uh, use the input uh, numeric entry and here we will select the internal memory and uh, select a recipe number okay then it will be a recipe buffer as I mentioned uh, because today's example we use a four column so you will uh, we also select from internal memory and select a recipe and put zero uh, two four uh, two three sorry then group one will uh, start from recipe four to uh, recipe uh, seven. Re uh, group two would start from recipe eight to eleven and recipe uh, twelve to fifteen for group three. And here, uh, okay, let's see from the recipe. Uh, 16-bit recipe as you see here and because the recipe address we define here is a uh, 200 d200 so we will define this one as d200 and because this one is uh, 16-bit so we just uh, duplicate this one so you will be uh, 201, 202, and 203. Okay, this is for our POC data. Okay, then now we can also, so let me show you the recipe again. So this one uh, we mentioned earlier, uh, it will be uh, 1, 2, uh, 12. Okay, so now we will uh, offline demonstrate. Here you will see uh, if we change the recipe number to 2, so the recipe buffer will become uh, show the value of uh, group 2. And we change to 3, it will uh, show the group 3 uh, value in buffer. And now we want to write the recipe uh, from HMI to PLC. So here uh, we press, uh, press this icon a uh, button. Okay, so you will see. Uh, the value already uh, write to POC and this one is because we use the simulator so uh, it's not uh, really write to the POC and then we can change some value maybe uh, 44 uh, 32 33 uh, and uh, 66 then we uh, uh, update the value from uh, POC to HMI recipe. Okay, so you can see now the value of uh, uh, recipe buffer and group three already uh, update. Okay, so this is the first portion for uh, 16 bit uh, recipe. Then uh, let's continue the 32 bit recipe. As you see, uh, we for thirty-two bit recipe, we have uh, one more that we call a recipe group. So first example, we define uh, three uh, group and four column. Second group uh, will have a uh, four uh, four row or four group uh, with a uh, four column. Final one, the group three is a uh, five row or five uh, group with uh, four column. 
So uh, the main difference between uh, 16 bit and 32 bit is the recipe group. And here we, uh, for today's example, we'll show the data format in uh, protein. So you can compare the uh, program difference between uh, 16 and 32 bit. Here we also use the recipe number. Okay, recipe number. So you will show, uh, for example, we select uh, group one and the recipe number one. So the uh, recipe of four, it will be 1.1. Then uh, recipe five will be 2.2, etc. Okay, and if we change the recipe group uh, to two, then this value will uh, change. And again, this is for demonstra demonstrate that if you use the, uh, you want to uh, uh, get recipe from HMI or get recipe from TLC, you can uh, use this data. Okay, so now let's, uh, let me show you the uh, 16, uh, sorry, 32 bit the recipe. Here we will add, uh, we still use the recipe uh, number, but we will add down uh, one recipe group. So all this uh, you can find here. This is for recipe group. And uh, same as 16 bit, uh, we have a recipe buffer. And today's example, again, is uh, four columns. So it will occupy uh, recipe zero to recipe three. And we define, uh, first one, we define uh, three, uh, res uh, three group recipe. So let's see uh, 32 bit. So you can see this is the first group and group two and the uh, group three so we define different value of uh, floating value okay so now uh, okay here uh, for the 32 bit recipe i define uh, in the uh, uh, d uh, 300 so you will see this will become a double word of floating and so it will occupy uh, sorry this one is a D300, uh, then will be 30204 and 306. Okay, so now, oh, sorry. Uh, here I add one uh, invisible uh, uh, screen change. So I can press here to go uh, screen number two. And here I add uh, another invisible uh, icon. So you can change to different screen. So this is for 32 bit recipe uh, demonstration. So if you still remember uh, the recipe group uh, start from one, okay? And then we can switch to two. So you can see the value are uh, changed and then we can change to group three, okay? And Take this one for example because uh, we define five group in uh, recipe uh, group three. So now we can change to a uh, five. So you can see those value did not show show up here. And if we change to a uh, group number four, okay. So you can see the different value. And again, uh, let's back to a uh, group one. Okay. Then we also show group one value. And then we can uh, write the recipe from HMI to TLC. Or we can update the recipe from TLC to HMI. Okay, so you can press this one to update the value. Okay, so let's go a uh, 32 bit recipe. And we will come to the final session of enhance the recipe.
in this recipe, you can put uh, decimal protein uh, or characters uh, together. And the maximum recipe will be a uh, uh, 256 field uh, multiply 10k group. You may wonder what is the field and what is the group. Okay, so maybe I can show you over here. To switch to enhance recipe, so you can see uh, this will be the field and group. Uh, you can see field means how many column and group same as uh, before. Uh, it will be defined in how many row. Okay. So that is the meaning of field and group. Uh, for the uh, recipe group is uh, actually same as 32 bit uh, recipe. So here we just define two. Uh, and first one we define the uh, recipe name as test. And second, uh, second group we define the name as uh, test two. Uh, here you can see uh, for the one two three row, that's still uh, called the recipe number. But because here we call it uh, enhance, so the name will become enhanced uh, uh, recipe number. And here same as uh, thirty two bit, but we will add on uh, en. That means enhanced recipe group. And here we have one more, uh, but this one is actually uh, just for. For your understanding, uh, we can also show the uh, page name here of the group. And again, uh, because we just defined four uh, as example, so you will occupy from uh, enhanced recipe zero to enhanced uh, recipe three. But uh, because here you can see we define in uh, different data type. First would be the uh, unsigned decimal, then it will be floating and have uh, two character characters uh, okay so this one will be uh, unsigned decimal then this is floating and uh, enhanced recipe 2 and 3 will be uh, char character or, st or string then you will have a different group and again you can use a uh, use a rewrite function of uh, uh, I mean, get the data from HMI or uh, uh, POC. But this one will slightly different with uh, 16 and 32 bit. Here we have uh, another code enhanced uh, recipe control, uh, and it uh, uh, still under control group. And again, this is the uh, same as the uh, no matter 16 or 32 bit, but is the read. Read means get data from POC. And and update to HMI. Write means write the recipe from HMI to POC. So you can see here I use a, a 102 or dot one. That means bit one. Dot two means a bit two. Okay. So let's check the program. As you see here, uh, for the recipe one, uh, we define uh, this and have a like a define delta, uh, delta B will be 100 HMI series. And group two, uh, we also define some uh, items. So let's check the program over here. Again, uh, you can define this one uh, through uh, internal memory and find the enhanced uh, recipe number. So next one is the uh, enhanced recipe group. You can also find this uh, through uh, internal memory. And you can uh, do the POC rewrite. This one just use the general uh, push button. And this is uh, for the recipe buffer. Uh, the concept is exactly same as 
uh, 16 and 32 bit uh, recipe. Uh, here, I just want to show you that uh, we use the unsigned gas mode, and this one is for protein. And this would be a uh, character. Okay. And for the uh, recipe control, here we define in uh, 1000. Okay. So that's why here the address will start from 1000, then will be uh, 1002. And you know, wonder why. Okay, you can see from here. For the enhanced recipe, it will occupy uh, four words. And for a uh, 32 bit uh, recipe, it will occupy uh, two words. And for sure, uh, 16 just one word. Okay, now I will uh, demonstrate the function of uh, enhanced recipe. Okay, as I mentioned, we have uh, two groups, so we can check and so we can see the name will uh, different uh, change. And as you see, if I change the buffer, no matter the buffer or a group also change. And this one is uh, exactly as uh, what we mentioned uh, in a uh, 16 or 32 bit recipe. Okay, so this one will vary, uh, depends on which uh, group, uh, sorry, wh uh, which row you define. Okay, so now we switch back to uh, group one. And if we want to write this data to POC, then we just click here. So you can see this uh, will update the recipe from HMI to POC. And again, if we want to write the value uh, from POC to HMI, So you can see it uh, update. So uh, this is all for uh, today's uh, recipe introduction. I hope uh, this video can help you understand more about uh, Delta HMI recipe function. Thank you.